Hey guys, Adam here with AmericanMuscle.com and today we're going to be talking about installing and listening to the Borla Resonator Muffler available for the 2018 and newer Mustang GT. You should be checking this muffler out if you're looking to switch out your new mid-pipe that you may already have on a Borla system installed on your new S550. This in our case is going on our Borla Attack Catback. Before we move forward at all, keep in mind you don't have to have the Attack for this to work. You could have any Borla Catback system or even a stock system. Aftermarket systems that aren't Borla will also work, you just gotta make sure the inlet and outlet sizes match up. In this case, you're working with a two and a quarter inch inlet and a three inch outlet. Now, as you just heard from our sound clips, this is gonna get about four out of five on our loudness meter. Now, a Borla attack like we have here on our 18 typically gets five out of five. So swapping out the X pipe that comes in this kit brought it down to a four out of five. The Borla resonator muffler is gonna swap out that X pipe and make it a little bit more mellow sounding because we know the attack can be a little overwhelming, especially at wide open throttle and in track mode like we have here on our active exhaust. The Borla resonator muffler does mute down some of those higher frequencies, especially at the higher RPMs, makes it a little bit more mellow and a little more tolerable. The kit is a 304 stainless steel, so if you're bolting it up to a current Borla catback on your S550, the quality of materials match up perfectly. And because it has that three inch outlet and two and a quarter inch inlet, it fits with our stock manifolds. Now, if you have any other catback from Borla, keep in mind your sound would be a different result than what you just heard from our sound clips. We're using it on the attack because this is one of the loudest of the louds. So you can drastically see the difference that the resonator muffler can make. You can also add this to your stock exhaust, but you will have to keep in mind that you gotta cut your factory mid pipe off, your factory resonator. This will definitely free up some airflow and make that situation a little bit louder. Now, if you want to pick this up, it's going to come in just under the $300 mark, and the install is going to get one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter. Now, because our catback is already installed, the hard part's out of the way. I'm just going to show you guys how to swap out the X-pipe for this resonator. Again, your situation might be a little bit different, but this is just the general gist of it. Unclamping everything's gonna be pretty simple. It'll take about 30 minutes from start to finish. What do you say we get started? Tools used in this install include an impact gun, 15 millimeter deep socket, and a mallet. Now the first step of our uninstall is to grab an impact gun, 15 millimeter deep socket, and we're gonna loosen up the band clamps holding our X pipe to our factory manifold pipes. Now, your install, your uninstall rather, might be a little bit different than what we're doing here. It all depends on which exhaust you have installed on your Mustang. Now we have the Borla Attack catback that does come with this X pipe and two adapters, one on each side, to connect it to our stock manifolds. So we're gonna be loosening up these band clamps and then the opposite end of the X pipe here and we'll pull this off in one piece. But for now, let's loosen up the band clamps. Next up, we can loosen up the clamps on the opposite side of our X-pipe. Basically what we're doing here is trying to disconnect the band clamp from the X-pipe and the stock manifold. So we can knock it with a mallet back toward the X-pipe itself and then disconnect the two. Point, we can lower this down and pull our X-pipe out of place. 
Right at this point, disconnecting the X-pipe, again, we're just gonna grab our mallet, and because these clamps are here with the adapter, we can use that as a point to just tap this back off. You wanna make sure you have a hand supporting the X-pipe in case it does actually slip out. The next step here is to take our factory band clamp that we removed from our stock manifold pipes. We're going to put these on the inlet side of our Borla resonator muffler. You want to make sure you're lining these up to about where they need to go as far as that retainer pin. There's that button, that little welded on button on the pipes to make sure that it retains into place. Just want to make sure you're putting that in approximately the right position. You can put these on the inlet here and if you need to, grab a mallet or a hammer and you can tap it all the way back down. Now I like to put it as far down as I can with the exception of about maybe an inch to leave a little bit more room for the stock pipes to fit in. Do the same thing on the other side. Now those clamps we're just going to slide on to our Borla exhaust just to have those ready to go. Now you can put your Borla resonator muffler in place starting with the outlet side going into the Borla catback. All right, you might need a helping hand to pinch the two pipes together going toward the back end of your vehicle just to get them to line up with the outlet on the muffler. From here, we can lift the whole system up and line it up with our factory mat bolts. Keep in mind, a pole jack is definitely gonna come in handy or a floor jack just to jack this up and make life a little easier. Now you want to rotate these band clamps back so that this tab matches up with the welded on tab on the exhaust. All right, push that tab in to get it to lock. Now we can tighten down the clamps. All right, now we can tighten up the clamps on the outlet side of our muffler. Grab your 15 socket, tighten them down. Well guys, that's gonna wrap up my review, install, and sound clip of the Borla Resonator Muffler for the 18 and newer Mustang GT. If you're looking to get your Resonator Muffler, you can do so right here at AmericanMuscle.com.